enhanced. So I gotta, I gotta sit back to aim the Wii Remote at the screen like a gun. Um... Because I gotta sit back further. So I, let's try and show if I can. Perfect mic setup. I have to have the mic, like, to my side, because when I hold this like a gun, like, the mic will be in the way. It's strange. I'm just gonna have to do this and yell as I game. Alright, so here's the piece of plastic known as the Wii Zapper. So this is what Link's crossbow training came with. It's like, hey, we got a gun for the Wii. Like, five years after the Wii came out. <laughs> I think, uh, this says 2007 is copyright. I think it, it was like a good two years after the Wii came out, at least, when this came out. Yeah, so we have this top portion. I got the lighting. This is where the Wii remote goes. Let's see if I can get this in. Alright, Wii remote goes here. The second part of the setup is the nunchuck for your control stick. So we gotta put this in the bottom here. It's actually got a really clever system. Unfortunately, the lighting is like... The light of the monitor is making this like impossible to see anything, but... There's little pegs that line up with the holes for the screws on the nunchuck, and that's how it mounts into this. I think it's actually kind of genius. Alright, that clips in. And you can cable manage the wire on the bottom here. So that way you don't have a wire dangling while you're gaming. And you wrap it in this little compartment on the bottom here. Feed the wire out the bottom a little. Let me see if I can even wrap... How much can I wrap this? How much are you supposed to wrap this? It's like I'm wrapping it too much. Okay. You slide this back on. Event somehow. Eventually. Maybe. Hold on, this is very hard. Almost as hard as Pick Ross. Alright, there we go. Clean. It's cable managed. Where is this nunchuck wire coming from? No one knows. Except for now I have this stupid <laughs> remote strap. I guess they just want you to take it off when you play. I don't know. So then you hold this in one hand to use the stick, and this in the other to use the trigger. Um, it's kind of an awkward setup though. Your arms, it's like the Nintendo 64 controller. Your arms are like pushed together too closely. We'll see if this works though. Dude. Use a gun. Oh god. Actually, you need to sit, like, back here for this to be comfy. Although, I guess it seems like we can adjust alignment. I need to be, like, back here for the gun to actually make sense. It's weird. Cracked score attack. Multiplayer? Okay, who wants to shoot me with a gun in Link's crossbow training? Your hooks are such a weird concept to you. Oh no, you never part of the Wii genera generation. And you just aim at the screen and you have a cr crosshair. That's how like 90% of games did it. Or you swing the remote and something happened. Yeah, I think I need to sit this far back from the screen. Alright. I'm baby. I'm three years old. Okay, they're gonna port Wii Sports to Switch one day, and then you'll understand. Or you can just get clubhouse games and try and play bowling and darts. And the shooting minigame, and that's basically a Wii remote. Now, we're gonna need to adjust the alignment. This is just weird to hold. I wish I could show, like, the controller. I guess I could. I just have to aim the camera way down. It's like this, though. And it's like how Link has the bow in the background. Alright, so just alignment. 
Point to the center. Cursor speed. Height. Okay, this makes this aim way lower. You were just never into console gaming. Oh yeah, I think you said that, like, until recently. All PC. I mean, I guess it's pretty cost-effective. It's a lot easier. PC gaming is more accessible. It's more of what I mean to say. Alright, I don't know if I even like these adjustments. This game's just weird. You have to hold this up. I need muscle mass. So I don't get tired trying to lift this up. Um, I think this is as comfy as I get. The problem is the microphone. Hopefully you guys can hear me decently. It looks like you can. Yeah, it's just weird to do anything with. If I do cursor speed down... Then I'll get it. This seems to make it more sensitive. It's like I don't have to move this as far, which is pretty good. To shoot the gun. Uh, what about... This. Oh god, yeah, this is chaos. This is for if you're sitting, like, super far from the TV and you want to make huge motions. Alright, yeah, we want lo higher sensitivity, I guess. Lower sends? I don't know what you would call this. Yeah, this is going to be a workout. Not working, just a workout. I guess this probably would be more comfortable to use standing. What was the good thing about the Wii? It made you stand up. Just trying to use the sitting down is kind of weird. I don't have a good standing setup. Like, if I try and stand... Well, A, this monitor is meant for sitting level, so I'd be, like, hunched down standing. And I can't have a blanket over me. Easily. Um... I guess we'll just hit OK. Yeah, this is the new ring fit. So I guess, in case you haven't noticed, this is the same engine as Twilight Princess, so you're gonna hear the same sounds. I don't think Midna is in this. Maybe we shoot Midna with the bow in this. We'll do practice. Stick fit. I am a stick figure. Now, do you use me's for this? Oh no. So my headphone cord is not long enough for this. What the heck? Link C. Link B. Link F. Link D. Dude. Who is dude? How did they get on my Wii? Link F. We gotta be Link H. H. Link H. Oh, okay, you literally just- it's a practice mode for each stage in the game. Zora River, Goron, Kakariko, Fruit Balloons, The Bridge. Defender. It's like there's nine stages. F. We don't need practice then. Who needs practice? I'm just go into this. Score attack. Level one. Hit the bullseyes as they pop up. All right. Press A to pause. Okay, so if you remember the village, this is what it looks like on Wii. And if we try and shoot targets. Yeah, I feel like this would be easier without the zapper. 
not even using the stick for anything. I thought the stick would be like to move Link around. I don't remember ever playing this as a baby. Okay, and you can just shoot all you want. Alright, Link goes on a Rambo killing spree. What the heck? What are these weird Easter eggs? I wish you guys could hear. There's just a bunch of random sounds coming from the Wii remote. As I shoot the chicken. Oh, you can't shoot the kaku? Are you kidding me? Oh no. We're in dire straits here. Losing all my elo. Score, 7,000. Oh, but you have a target score you need to reach. Okay, to move forward. Shoot the Stalthos as they rise, and the Gerudo... Wait, we go straight to the Gerudo Desert? That's not the Twilight Princess I played. Okay. Maybe the boss music now. What does a green do? Oh, he's automatic. Alright, Link with the machine gun. Once again, I wish you guys could... Maybe you guys can hear the, uh... What the heck? I am heavy weapon fan. Maybe able to hear the Wii remote sound. Well, I don't know if we're getting to the score target. We need two twenty thousand. Move using the control stick. Okay. Well, now this finally comes into play. Oh, remember this part of the game? Here's a control scheme. Ah, yes, I remember the crossbow from Twilight Princess. And this basically is a simulation of playing Twilight Princess. Oh yeah! Looking good! What sort went into their mind when they made the it's a bari. The thought that went into their minds was they made this new piece of plastic that goes over the Wii remote. How do we demo it? Honestly, this part is kind of cool. I really hope you guys can hear the Wii remote sounds too. What if Link had a gun? That was what they were thinking. Where, when is this going to happen in Breath of the Wild 2? What? We found a Triforce piece? We need those to kill Ganon in this? Alright, we got the bronze medal. I guess level 2 time. We're on target practice. Oh no, remember the river thing from Twilight Princess? Now imagine having to shoot the bow with that. Consecutive hits boost your score. If you hit targets marked with X, you'll lose points. I mean, this is the pack-in that came with this 
piece of plastic, the Wii Zapper. But really, this is just like a demo for it. I don't think... Did anyone actually make an actual game that used the Wii Zapper? <laughs> I feel like the answer to that is no. I still want to... I, I, at some point in the game, I want to get this gun attachment and try using this instead. I have a feeling that this is going to be way more comfortable to use. Just the gun. I don't think most people made actual games for the Wii. Well, you are right. That already disqualifies half the library. Okay, but out of that other 50%, how many tried using the Wii Zapper? Like, even the Conduit. I played that yesterday. That was an actual game, and it didn't use the Wii Zapper. It's really just a clever use of how can we reuse the environment in Twilight Princess and make it into another game. Gotta get the bullseyes. If you don't know about these golden... What do you mean Twilight Princess 2? This is Twilight Princess 2. After Twilight Princess, Link... Link cried for Midna for one second and then got a gun and went on a rampage. That's the story of this. This is definitely how you break your arm. Okay, well, what's our target score? Only 20,000. Shoot enemies from your canoe. You can shoot any projectiles. The toad polis spit at you. Sorry, what? What enemy? Was this in Twilight Princess? Oh, you can charge the bow. I didn't know that. Ironically, this is like the most straightforward into the game Zelda game since Zelda 1. Since Zelda 2. The first one where you just boot it up and you get in the game. No two hours of cutscenes beforehand. Hello? There we go. I did think there would be like a brief little intro cutscene thing. Explaining why Link has a gun. Ah, oh, we missed the gold rupee. Well, hopefully we get 10,000 points in the next level. You don't remember which Zelda game is the longest intro? Well, I guess we'll find out once I play Skyward Sword. So far... I guess Twilight Princess is the more painful feeling intro. I mean, it feels as long as Wind Waker, it's just more painful. I think, like, reflecting back, Majora's Mask does the intro thing kind of well. Like, it feels like you're just playing the actual game pretty early on, even though you're actually in the intro until you can exit the clock town. But even before you can exit Clocktown, it still feels like you're playing the main game. Alright, shoot the skulls. This is not... This is clay shooting. This is just a duck hunt clone. Who is throwing skulls in Hyrule Field? 
Is there a Wolf Link segment to this? Can I stop asking questions? Two hours, 40 minutes intro. Not terrible. Only have to play a whole day before you get out of the intro. Oh, there's my 3,000 points. What? Oh, we didn't get enough points. We needed... I did... We did. Okay, thank God. Alright, somewhere out there, there's either, like, speedrunners for this game, or people that just, like, grinded for gold medals. Level final. Earn a medal in the previous level to unlock this one. So why does Link use a automatic crossbow? That's a cool gun. It's so- he was contacted by Reggie to sell the Wii Zapper. They told him his contract would be cut if he didn't chill for the Wii Zapper. So he had to do this. Alright, shoot Malin. Are we gonna- is there gonna be a Malo Mart stage? That'd be kinda nice. What would be good areas to be stages in this game? There could be Malo Mart. Obviously Hyrule Castle's gonna show up. I guess the Uku do domain? We shoot Uku <laughs> as a level in the game. Might be an Agatha's Castle level? Only maybe. Alright, shooting the bell has to give us a reward, right? Okay. Ah, oh, give me the money. Here's a zap. Can I put the microphone right next to the Wii remote? So everyone can hear the rumble and the sound effects. I don't get it. I don't either. I'm just hitting the B button a lot. I think I'm enjoying it, maybe. What if the in let's shoot the bees? Sorry, Reggie. Oh god, the bees! Oh no, okay, never mind. I won't shoot the bees anymore. Should be a reload time? No. They didn't want a duck hunt moment. Imagine if this was like a duck hunt clone and whenever you messed up, Re Midna just laughed at you. <laughs> I feel like people will love this game if that was the case. If it was just a duck hunt clone where Midna replaced the dog. Shoot the fruit balloons as they float in the air. It's okay, the game told me not to shoot the bees. That would be a better game, admittedly. I mean, the clay pigeons, like, the sh throwing skulls is the same thing as clay pigeons in Duck Hunt. I guess at Duck Hunt, you do have limited shots. You can't just aimlessly shoot. Maybe there's a mode with lim limited ammo in this, though. What the heck is this? Okay. This is the developers on meth. This 
Miyamoto finding a random idea and making it a Zelda idea instead of a Mario idea. This is loud. Wait, what is loud? Can you hear, like, the gun sounds? Let me try... Like, can you hear this shooting sound from the Wii Remote? It should sound like it's coming from the microphone and not the game. I guess because there's two different sounds. Yeah, the Wii Remote is like, here's the mic. The Wii Remote is like right here. Like, just slightly lower. And it has a speaker on it. So you guys could be hearing that. And the microphone itself is just louder than the game sound. So that could be the case. When I switch to this gun, that shouldn't be a problem, because the gun will be over here, away from the mic, in my right hand. I'll try the gun in the next set. Alright, what sound are we today? That's what sound we are. Also, happy birthday, Kyle Core. It's a good reminder. It's your birthday. Roll, roll eight ball and see what you get for your birthday. Okay, you saw. Also, actually, wait, didn't I? I thought I got rid of webcam filter just because it's a waste. It's like I can blur it. That's it. I can blur it. That's the only thing I have. Alright, great. A swarm of cargo rocks is attacking. Defend yourself. Apparently these are the same race as the birds from Wind Waker. Cargo rocks. Randomly saw that on the Zelda wiki. Somehow. I guess I'll do a webcam filter if you really want, Aesop. I'll do like a very subtle one. Oh yeah, we can zoom. Dude, look at this zoom. Are you leasing on the bridge? Well, this is a Wii game. I think the Wii U upscales the Wii. I could be wrong. I was having capture card issues earlier. Because OBS got a new update, which is mostly pretty hype, but for some reason it didn't work with my capture card for a second. I was just trying to check if my capture card was even working. And it said the video was 1080p. Alright, I don't know if we got the high score there high enough. No, we did. Let's freaking go. We got the bronze medal. You are a new a new level has been unlocked. What? What do we got? Zora River, Hyrule Castle, Skullchilla. All right. If you don't like spiders, don't look at level three. It's gonna be Skullchillas. We're gonna get Temple of Time Spider Dungeon again. Eight ball birthday. Reply hazy. Try again. All right, Aesop. And or the birthday recipient. What should the basic webcam filter be? Should I just change the color slightly? Should I just should I just refund the prize again? The point reward. I can do color correction. Q shift. I don't even... No. No. The grainier the better. Here, I'm just orange today. I kind of want the cam to be kind of normal just in case I need to show anything with the Wii remote so you'll have to deal with this. 
There's your 4,000 point webcam filter. Alright, we got Zora River target practice. Take careful aim. Oh yeah, let me change to the other gun. Hold up. <laughs> Joke. Damage was done. It was not worth it. Oh no. What happened? Was irreversible damage done? It's okay. It was only an hour. It was only a joke. Enjoyed it a tiny bit. I... I feel like it's either just you enjoyed it or you didn't. And that's okay. Alright, so to use this gun attachment, the Nyko Perfect Shot... Which is literally just a gun. This is just a gun. So what we do here is... Actually, so this this is kind of clever. It passes through the Joy-Con connect... Or not Joy-Con. <laughs> Nunchuck connector. So there's a connector there. And there's one on the bottom of the gun. So what we do here is I unplug this. Plug the Nunchuck into the gun... All right. Then we take this and put it in the gun. And I guess the strap just awkwardly hangs to the side. Um, this might not fit because the Wii Remote Plus could be a little different than the Wii Remote Regular. I could be wrong there. It's a very tight fit is what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh-oh. I'm just, like, scratching up the sides of the Wii Remote. This thing is really weird. I guess that's how you can tell it's not a Nintendo product. It doesn't just easily slide the remote in. It's not seamless. But it's shaped like a gun, so it's got to be good, right? Was fun messing around, but you don't think it takes... Have what it takes to become one? Nah, I guess... It's too much maintenance. I don't have a billion bucks to spend on cosmetics. Are you kidding me? It's also not $80. Is that what the Wii Zapper goes for in 2021? Why? If it does. Alright, do I have it? I do not have it in. I might just have, just have to get a different Wii remote. Let me see if I just have a regular Wii remote sitting somewhere. I guess I'll just sync it to the console, but... <laughs> Alright, let me VRP. Alright, so here's the regular Ronald Wii remote. Not that you can really tell, because someone <laughs> redeemed webcam filter, but... I'm gonna have to take the batteries out of this one. I was using. Communications with the Wii remote have been interrupted. Press the A button without touching the control stick to reconnect the Wii remote. See, the damage is irreversible. You just put it in the thing already. Put it in. Alright, I got it synced to the console. Now I just need to slide this in, hopefully. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you, you gotta, like, push this thing in. I guess that's why this thing didn't, uh... It's not as popular. We'll just say. Damage is irreversible. Oh god. Someone help me. I've been trying to put in the Nyko Perfect Wii Remote into a Nyko Perfect Shot for three hours straight. It's just not working. All right, like, I am pushing. I am using some force. It's not getting in there. I think the Wii Remote strap is kind of, uh, getting in the way. All right, I'm about to make a Wii Remote explode live on stream. All right, I think we're getting there. Yeah, I think they maybe could have come up with a better mechanism. <laughs> like, it slides. It has the sliding part, but on both sides. So you can get the Wii remote in easier. That's the one thing I, I'll give the Wii zapper. I do not feel like I'm performing surgery getting the Wii remote in. Like, once this remote's in here, it's done. Oh! Okay, um, welp. We were almost there, but the nunchuck is not being detected. This is what it looks like, though. So we got a gun. Uh, something's up with the tolerances on the nunchuck connector. This is not being read. All right. I promise. This 10 minutes of waiting will be worth it. We'll get this gun extension to work. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. I slot this Wii remote in the gun. And I guess it wasn't enough. Epic fail. We just have to unplug it and plug it in again. What a shame. What the heck? I wanted this to work. A good hair day? <laughs> Is that a compliment? I mean, I don't think it's a good hair day, but if you think it's a good hair day, then thank you. It's been bleh hair month. Alright, I don't know what to do here. Do I just give up on the Nyko perfect shot? The gun failed. It just didn't work. That's my review. Of the gun attachment. Not sure what happened. Dude, this is actually irritating. I have it in here. I don't... It's scary. I don't want to have to take it out and try again. I think that's what I have to do with the gun. Alright, here we go. I'm unplugging it. Okay, um... Looking inside the controller, 
the piece of plastic. It does seem like uh, it's effed. I guess, yeah, forcing it in was not the play. But that's what it feels like you gotta do. So I wasn't picking up the nunchuck because it wasn't plugged in. Well, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> PPW. Yeah, I think I give up on the gun. The gun feels good in the hand, but, uh, good luck using a nunchuck with it. I'm sure lots of people have had this issue with this controller attachment. I don't even know, how do I fix the damage I've caused? I could try one more time, but I don't think it'll plug in. Like a shout out to already asking for PPW to get added. It's been relevant. Interesting. Yeah, I think what happened is I like pushed the connector back. So it's not in the way, but uh it won't plug in now. There's a way to get this to fix, but it can't be easy. Maybe it can, actually. This side of the thing has screws, so maybe I could take it apart and try and un -F it. But, uh, not today. So I guess what we'll do today is just not use... We'll just not use the gun attachment at all. Damage is irreversible. What a shame. Although this Wii, Wii Remote is kind of, uh, I don't like it. Let me change back and get my headphones. Alright, so how long did I try messing with the gun? Like 20 minutes. And I just got no results. I just broke the gun. Unfortunate. I guess the Ny Nyko Perfect Shot review is it, it's a good concept, but it's flawed. Which doesn't work. Alright, let's do Zora River practice now. Alright, so I'm holding the Wii Remote away from the... What's it called now? From the microphone, so it shouldn't... ...be too loud. We're back to Zora River. Okay, yeah, the Wii Remote sound is like... A million times louder than the actual game. Actually, there should be a way to change that as well. There we go. You can change the volume of the speaker. There we go. That's a little better. It's kind of cool seeing all these locations from the Twilight Princess game. Repurposed. Oh, you can't... Why, how does the water block the arrow? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's why I couldn't hit certain things. There we go, we got the gold. Um, we barely got any points from that. What the heck? We're still supposed to get two, tw 20,000. Are you kidding me? We might be stuck here. Thank 
Okay. Looks like the graveyard from the end of the game. Oh, we have Keith. Dude, I have an automatic gun. What? Only this is how you dealt with Keith in the actual game. Alright, we might not get enough score from this try. Unfortunate. Unless this final level, like, is insane. Skullchilla Forest, Ranger. Move using the skull control stick. Alright. Kill. Spider. It's okay. Oh, we don't want to shoot the bees. Sorry. Be nice to the bees. An Ocarina of Time clone. We gotta kill all the golden sculptulas. The spiders. It's okay, I'm sure the next Zelda game won't have any spiders. Now we just hunt for a score. Yeah, these levels where you move are actually kind of cool. It's like I'm playing Twilight Princess again. What? Hello? How am I missing that? Okay. I was gonna be pissed. Alright, well, I guess we cleared the score thing just from that level alone, so that's good. We got the Wait, we didn't even get a silver from that? Okay. I see how it is. Alright, this game is definitely kind of short. Now, how long to beat said three hours? May not even be- Ooh, good target practice. Okay. Well... I guess we do shoot the Uka. Yeah, it's spelled O-O-C-C-A. Do I have the emote spelled right on Franker Facey, or did I mess it up again? <laughs> Be sure not to hit the Uka. Alright. Oh god, it takes us back to this dungeon. I don't like this. Dude, if these guys would just sit still. I don't want to be reminded of this temple again. This temple sucked. Get me out of here. Fairy? What? Oh, 
All right, we got a good score from that one. We're already halfway to the score t target. Should be good. Gerudo M Moldorm, Defender. Wait, what's the Moldorm? Keep your eyes on the radar and the ground. What's a Moldorm? I forgot. Oh, these things, okay. Gun. Alright, this is just as annoying as the actual desert. Oh god. I'm missing everything. Is it possible to actually take damage in this? I feel like it's not, but I could be wrong. Alright. I still need to turn the Wii Remote. Oops, that's the wrong button. Turn the volume down a little more on the Wii Remote. Target score four. You need 40,000 to get silver. Okay. Here's the shootout level from Twilight Princess. So here's where the whole tech demo came from. This whole game. Now we use a gun. Kill. Oh, that headshot. Yeah, this is literally like the same mission from the actual game. I thought this would be in here. Still that room with the chicken here. We're trying to kill all the enemies here. Kind of impossible on the first try, at least. Well, we got the bronze, at least. A new level has been unlocked. All right, when do we get to go to? the Twilight Realm. We just go back to Orton Village? Okay. This game sucks. Bridge of Elden. Dude, why are... Where are all the interesting level designs? Hit the bullseye as quickly as you can. Uh... Continue. As the game is like, you better, like, target test. That's what this is. Alright, don't shoot the cuckoo as much as you want to. You cannot do that. Yeah, this game plays so much better without the Wii Vapper. Kinda sad, really. Oh god, we almost killed the chicken. Save the chicken.
what? I guess they tried having a bunch of layers to the game. There's the hidden Triforce pieces, it seems, and then the score targets. Get gold in every stage, every level. Save the convoy. Oh, no. Not this again. Okay, fine. I mean, if you hit a gun to do this part of the game, it'd be way easier, huh? Yeah, I guess the actual game is kind of loud, too. Just now noticing. Mighty. Okay. There's so much to shoot at on the screen. Eh, maybe a bit, smile. I'm just looking at the volume meters. It's weird, because like the Wii U games are so much quieter. It doesn't make any sense. It's coming from the same console. Alright, I'll just do minus a few dB. Don't stop shooting. Yeah, these don't stop shooting levels are kind of satisfying. I wonder if there's like a cheat code to just have automatic... Just have a machine gun for every single level. Alright, we need to defeat the Chillfos. That's what those enemies were called. See, that's why I miss Navi and... Tattle. So you don't get to learn the names of the enemies or anything, otherwise. Like, I was just gonna call these Ice Dudes. Because the game never told me the name of them. Oh. Okay. I mean, we could shield that. What happened to Link's shield? I guess you don't need a shield when you have a gun. And we're actually just doing the whole Snow Peak ruins again. Do we shoot the Yeti? Oh god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, what the heck? Can I get a machine gun? Oh, okay, that gives you a bomb arrow. Which is useful here. Oh. No, the bomb arrow was really good, huh? Kill. The other two left at. Oh well, I'll never know. See, the levels where you can walk around and shoot are kind of cool, but I, that's not the entire game. It's weird. A new level has been unlocked. Level seven. See what we got. The city in the sky. Underground. Temple of Time. Okay. We're gonna be through the game pretty soon. I've only been streaming for an hour. Well, that's okay. This is the Arbiter's Ground.
All right, this is the most interesting spot they could put a target test thing in the whole dungeon. Let's see how it is. I don't know what the Patriot is. I mean, I guess my lack of response kind of already <laughs> denoted that. Alright, imagine if Gibdos were this easy to deal with. Just shoot him with your gun. Good thing they don't scream at me in this game and freeze me. God, these guys look beautiful up close. I should have done re-dead in that art style. City in the sky, Defender. Alright, so here's one where we just turn in a circle. Oh, we have a bunch of these guys. Okay. Interesting. This is the boss area. Link's gun training. Yeah, it seems like if you shoot their wings. Alright, I was trying to make sure there was nothing up top. I wonder how multiplayer works in this. It's probably just turn-based. Maybe not, though. Alright, go through the Temple of Time. Alright. Like how it just does danger anytime there's an enemy near you. Oh god, we have Demos in this. In theory, should be easy to execute. Ah, oh, give me the gun. Link's gun training. A shake for melee? Oh god. Oh, I don't think I'm getting all the Lizalfos, unfortunately. There was one left, are you kidding me? Unfortunate. Well, we made it through anyways. It's kind of weird. Like, in the levels you walk around, you would think you would have, like, three hearts or something. And then you die. But you don't. Not how it works. Horse pack? Dark nut battle? Wait, what? We just shoot a dark nut with the gun. Okay. Sure. Oh god, Epina looks weird in this. Maybe I'm just not used to this game's graphics. So here's the Gerudo... Gerudo training grounds from Ocarina of Time. That's what this entire game is based on.
No Easter egg if we shoot the castle. What the heck? There's loading zones between each area? What the heck? Oh god, I'm missing stuff because I'm busy zooming around. Now it's night. Alright, night looks way different in this than in Wind Waker HD. Or er, Twilight Princess HD. Same thing, right? Gun. Is this surprisingly enjoyable for how basic and dumpy this is? Hack after pack of white wolfos are coming after you. Defend yourself. We... Oh yeah, I have the bomb arrow. Alright, just one-shotting these seem to do a lot more good. It does me a lot more good. I can use a sentence. They're going for the kill. Oh, there was an automatic power-up hidden? Dang. Didn't find it until the very end. Alright, well, let's hope we can get... Defeat the Dark Nut before time runs out. Okay. Skip. Press minus. Oh yeah, apparently in the actual game, bomb arrows are, like, very effective. Against Dark Nuts. If you shoot them to, like, their side. Which I never noticed, but... So I didn't try doing anything other than just sword the, uh... Dark Nut. Kind of tricky to get around. Okay, so you just let him swing. Alright. So it's actually just the Dark Nut fight from the game. You actually gotta get close to him. That's funny. What, he just turns into bugs? Alright, what a freaking nightmare. Wait, what the heck? Oh, he didn't kill him. Unfortunate. Okay, we didn't get enough points for the first time. It seems like mostly we just need to do the Dark Nut fight. The fact you gotta redo each stage is kind of annoying. Yeah, we can't skip to stage three and redo it or anything.
like, hello? Okay. Alright, we found the gold rupee. That'll give us a little more points. Alright, at least I know what to do in the dark in that fight a bit more. You gotta, like, actually treat it like the Twilight Princess dark net. Just walk up to him and bait out an attack. And then shoot a bomb arrow. Alright, I guess that's everything. We got less score than last time. Okay. Unfortunate. So here somewhere... Over here. Oh, there's another one right here, okay. Which I didn't even notice. Okay, there were tons of automatics, so that gives me way more score. Okay, well that helps a lot. <laughs> so now as long as we can kill the Dark Nut, probably, we're good. Move using the control stick, so we need to bait out attacks and shoot it with bomb arrows, basically. Now we can just shoot it. Did we kill it? Dude, let's freaking go. So I think when it's split apart into bugs, you had to shoot the golden bugs for it to stay vulnerable. I kind of instantly figured that out. Oh, it just ends the stage. Weird. Well, we almost got the silver. All right, the Dark Nut fight was pretty cool. I had to use my brain for a second. Level final. Fossil Stall Lord battle. Really? That's it? You don't get to fight Ganon with your gun? Or even Zant or anything? I guess maybe they didn't want spoilers for people that hadn't played Twilight Princess. I don't know. I guess I can kind of see that philosophy. This was just the free pack-in with your Wii Zapper. Also, don't tell Nintendo I'm not using the Wii Zapper. Rescue the goats from the Boca ones. Okay. So we just have to shoot the Boca ones and not the goats? Yes.
This game kind of goaded. As they say. God. Oh my god, the flicks. I just barely didn't get hit there. The heck are those guys flying in on? Okay, I think we nearly perfected that level. It might not matter, because the final boss probably requires some finesse. Sacred Grove Defender. Skull Kid's creating havoc with his army of puppets. Take him down. Oh, so they actually named the thingy Skull Kid. Interesting. The Deku Skull Kid. Skull Kid confirmed. Skull Kid gives me a gun. Alright, he's dootin'. Ah oh, yes, my favorite uncut secret part of Majora's Mask. Link gets tired of the Skull Kid and just pulls out a gun. Alright. Well, we already beat the finale. I guess the boss is just a bonus. Crush the Stall Lord before time runs out. All right, let's do it. The Stall Lord is in the middle of the desert instead of the dungeon. This is the one where we had to Beyblade it before. Wait, we can't move. What the heck? Okay, shoot the glowing points on its hands. So really, this is the Bonko Bon... That one Wind Waker fight. Let me shoot your head real quick. Or not. Yeah, he's got like weird... Twilight effects on him. Let me bomb area. you. Alright, let's go. We killed the final boss.
finish. Alright, we got the silver even. You got a silver medal. Alright, well that's it. <laughs> There's not even like a congratulations credits or anything. Just, there you go. Congratulations. You've completed a great game. Congratulations. Well, GG. Top players are me. Link H. Well, I did it. I mean, that was fun. You, you could tell it was just a tech demo for the Wii Zapper, kinda, but... That was it. That was the game. That was the whole game, basically. Unless there's like a secret final boss that I don't know about. Stream over by. One hour stream, world record. I mean, we can see what multiplayer is like. He wants to do multiplayer with me. Player one. Okay, we got. Who wants to. I'll pass the Wii remote. Alright, someone take this Wii remote. You're player two. Maybe you're being. Alright, player two, please connect. Uh, player two. Player two? Alright, the weird mode isn't connecting, let me try this again. Maybe stream is over by. <laughs> I'm just gonna be disappeared forever because this Wii remote just stopped working after I took the batteries out. It's a weird occurrence, but I guess it happens. Let's try this. I literally just want to go in the multiplayer menu and see what happens for one second. Press 1 and 2 on each Wii remote. Stop pretending. <laughs> Stream acting, as it's called. Twitch acting. Oh, something's up with the batteries, what the heck? Alright, this Wii remote doesn't like the batteries. Let me try something else then. No, this Wii- okay, this Wii remote is just dead. I guess. I don't know what happened. And see, it's making that sound, it's connecting to the Wii console, and then it's just... dead. Need help. Alright, we'll add Link- we'll add Dude. Oh, you're supposed to use the B button. Question mark will pl 
you're in the place of B. Okay, we use one Wii Remote. I think the game is just hard disconnecting it. I get it. So this is just take turns. Okay. I get it. This is such an old school thing. We just take turns? Alright. Whoever is player two, get ready. I'm gonna pass the controller in a second. Ow. Alright, imagine doing that cave of trials with a gun like this. Alright, so what I'm actually gonna do... Because this... There's nothing to try out here, really. I guess I could play my favorite levels again and again. That's about it. Not the one enemy that's left. Kill. Yeah, so all you do for multiplayer is take turns. That's really... That's pathetic. Honestly, that's just pathetic. I don't know how else to describe it. You can do practice mode, that's it. That's all, you, the only other things you can do. Fossil Stalord battle. Now, so I can do the Dark Nut battle, Temple of Time. I guess you can, yeah, you can just do practice mode for all this stuff, that's it. Just choose the level. There we go. Alright. I mean, I've already played this level, though. Well, that's the game. That was Link's crossbow training. <laughs> that was one hour. I, I didn't expect the game to be that short, to be honest, but... I can't say I'm surprised. I knew it was gonna be pretty bare-bones and short, just not, like, one hour short. <laughs> like, if you... That's a pretty short game. Enjoyed my time, though. Alright. Let's see if that Alien Syndrome game works now.